What's up team? Today I'm coming at you as a sneaky tax ninja. Today we're going to be talking about ways that you can try and improve or bring balance to the tax setup of your financial plan. So why are we talking about this right now? Well, one of the reasons might be this enormous ballooning federal deficit that we're facing. And the second reason is that we have historically low tax rates right now. So let's get into it. Say that you're working and you have a mortgage that allows you to deduct some interest and in a house that allows you to deduct some property taxes. And oh yeah, if you're like me, you got three monkeys running around that help bring the tax rate down a little bit. So for every dollar that you earn, you might be losing 20% of that to taxes. Now let's fast forward 20 years from now. Your house is paid off, the kids are out of the house, you don't have a single thing to deduct on your income taxes. And all of a sudden, tax rates have gone up to try and combat the deficit or for whatever other reasons the country is facing. And now in retirement, you go to get that dollar from your investment account. And guess what? It costs you 30%, 30 cents in taxes. And you go, what the heck? Why was I saving pre-tax when all I was doing was deferring to pay taxes later? So today we're talking about, I mean, could there be a geekier name than the tax control triangle? This is fantastic where we come up with this stuff in the financial world. But this is your tax control triangle. And what you want to focus on, number one is what you're accustomed to. This is saving pre-tax, kicking the tax can down the road to a later point in time. And this would include things like putting money in your 401k, pre-tax, putting money in 403bs, pre-tax, and saving to like your traditional IRA before tax. The second part of your tax control triangle is to save after tax, post-tax. And this would be using things like a Roth IRA, where the money can be invested after tax, and as long as the right rules are met, it can be withdrawn without paying any tax ever again. And then the third piece of your triangle here is to save money that is just taxable. This could be money that you're putting in your bank, or as we've discussed, your online savings account. This could be just having a brokerage account with Charles Schwab or Fidelity, where you own investments that you pay tax on each year. But the idea is to diversify, not just whether you own stocks or bonds, U.S. or international, but also to diversify how you're actually getting taxed on the money. This is a topic that I think never before or rarely before in the last 20 years has it been as important to take a look at where your money's going and how you're ultimately going to get your hands on it and pay the government the least amount possible. I hope this helps gets the wheels turning. Thanks for joining us.